Cruelty is done with a darning foot with the feed dogs working. I find that this gives more even stitches than putting the feed dogs down. This is straight stitch and I'm letting the machine do some of the feeding and I'm guiding it. So I'm using the edge of my foot as a guide and if the camera is not picking up every stitch it looks like I'm doing every other stitch because I'm going fast you'll find that you have more control if you go fast. Needle down position is good. That way when you reposition your hands, you don't move the quilt. I usually quilt with my fingers spread between here, but I'm not sure that you can see what I'm doing if I do that. So I'm just going to guide it around. You can stitch forwards, sideways, backwards. Doesn't have to be perfect because when you quilt a lot, it's not going to show every little defect that you've made. So enjoy the process of quilting rather than being worried about every little stitch. An open toed foot helps you to put the thread underneath the foot rather than a closed toed foot. And I'm just using the edge of my foot as a guide. going around this block. You can make up your own quilting design. It doesn't have to be echo stitching. But this is a good way to start. I've been quilting a long time and I'm now beginning to get a little more free with the kinds of designs that I can quilt in. So to end that, I just went over the stitches, about a half an inch stitches that I had done before. And when I come back up here, I'm going to start by going over the stitches that I started with. So we get the threads out of the way so I can cut them off later. That's one block that's quilted. Look how fast it goes. This is a close-up of the block that I just finished. The bobbin thread is nylon filament from YLI. So it never shows on the front side of the quilt. This is the completed block of the next squirrel that I'm going to be quilting.
I don't know whether you can see this or not, but because I went back and forth here, it's rippling a little bit, but the quilting will smooth that down. So it won't be noticeable. to show you how to do a signature. Imagine that the needle is a pen and I'm going to draw out my last name. K O Here's the O N T Curly Q. <laughs> With the star stitch, I'm doing just one stitch. And stitching with an open-toed foot, which is my applique foot. This is a close-up of the signature with a star stitch for the dot on the eye. You can also do something that would be a little circle done in stitches. This is the completed quilt called Squirrels. You can find the pattern on our website, www.critterpat.com. I hope you've enjoyed watching me quilt this quilt and have learned something that will help you in your future quilting projects. Be sure and watch the next video which will be showing you how to put on a binding. Till next time, I'm Deborah Konchinski, the designer of Critter Pattern Works.